Hi, I'm Steve, and I, I have a couple stories to tell you, and they're remarkable stories. One happened here at the hospital, and the other is kind of related to me, and, and, they're really, and there may be another story, too. We'll see how the time goes. But the first story happened here, and through that door, a woman comes in here, and she's very, very, very upset, very concerned about her husband. And she's a woman of faith, very deep faith, and we started to talk a little bit, and we did some prayer for him. He was in surgery. She was here all night long, and now he went into surgery today, and we prayed for him. And then so we sat here, and we started talking a little bit, and she told me what happened about what happened to him. This is where it gets interesting, everybody. This is where God comes in. This is where he comes in. And the, to tell you the story, day off. You know, he decided to ride a bike, of all things. He decided to ride a bike, and she thought he's just going to be around the neighborhood and whatever, you know, so on and so forth. And the whole day went by. You know, he usually called in in a half hour, so on and so forth, whatever it may be. He'd be back home. He didn't show up. So she got very, very concerned over a period of time. She, and the good news, she, the fire department was just right down the block, a half block away. So she walked down there and told, and told what happened, that she, you know, her husband's missing. So they got a search party together, they got the engine, they, they started looking. And they went around the street looking for anything that happened, and they asked some people, well, have you seen this, so on and so forth, and they said no. They also have the houses near the mountains, and there's some trails out there, so maybe, you know, he could be out in one of the trails. Here's what you have to understand. This is where it really gets interesting, because they had no idea where he could be. No idea. And the, over a period of time, they're looking, and then it dawned on one of the officers to ask her about her phone. Maybe and he's got, you know, she's got something on her phone that could track the phone where her husband could be at, so they can they can find him. And this is where, I, and again, this is where it really gets really kind of, you know, she didn't have any software on that at all. There's no MapQuest, no nothing at all on the phone. But lo and behold, on her phone, an image of a map comes up. On the phone, she's totally startled by this. She doesn't know what's going on, and he's looking at her. He doesn't quite understand either. They're looking at the phone, and there's an actual map, and they see kind of a, a flashing, you know, round circle blasting, and they said that 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 has to be him. But she, what the whole thing was really puzzling. I don't. Have, she was kind of explaining to her. I don't have. The, there's no software here. They disregarded that, and they just they just went by the map, and they found him. And the main thing about it is he fell down a ravine. It was a long ravine, everybody. He was down there, and the lucky thing was he had no broken bones, no hand injury whatsoever, but he did have some bruises. And he did fracture a hip, so that's why he came in the hospital. You had to have surgery done on the hip. But i got to tell you something. You know, when you talk about God, some things go on, and it has to do with the phone. I mean, there are things that go on, everybody. And I, you know, here at the hospital, you get stories like this. You really do. Things, there are kind of miracles that go on. And you just don't think it can happen, but things do go on. The second story I'm going to tell you about is a story about a man who just started sailing. You know, he's in his, he's in his 60s, he's retired, and he was kind of looking for something to do, and he happened to go by, you know, the, the, the boats out there, and, 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 and one guy was called to him, you want to buy the boat? Looking at her and said, yeah, you know, it's it got to be fun, it could be interesting. Small sailboat, not real big. And uh, so he went through some training. He learned about sailing and he went through some training. And they decided to go out in, into the ocean, everybody. They're, they're sailing from, I would understand, near Malibu to, and some part further out. It's about a two and a half hour sailing time. So they're out in the ocean, and the, she go, he goes through with the, 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 the other people that kind of was training them what to do in case the emergency happened. And so he went through that, and they're, they're just sailing, just, you know, just doing a beautiful day. Actually, it was a calm day from what I understand, very calm. And you see some porpoises, and they're kind of swimming around the boat, and they're all the porpoises are kind of going a certain direction there. And because the porpoises were going down a certain direction, he was looking, kind of following them, and he thought he saw a hand kind of waving in the water. So he's looking, and, you know, he turns to them, and, and he was asking one of the guests, Can you, do you see what I'm seeing? And they couldn't, didn't, didn't show up at all. So maybe it just, you know, maybe he was seeing things he didn't know, but the porpoises kept going, and they kept circling. 
And what happened next is that the hand, she, what happened to this woman, she was in the ocean. She went into the ocean, I think, in the evening hours. And the current took her out. And she was floating for more than 12 hours in the ocean, all by herself, and the tide was taking her out at, at, to the middle of the ocean. And she's out there, and, and, and as I said, the portraits are out there kind of directing them to, to, the, to, to the woman that's out there. And she was just barely alive, everybody. From what I understand, she was just barely alive. When you're in the water, the temperature of the water, from what I understand, is about 65 degrees, and it, the muscles were worn out. She didn't have anything left. They were able to get to her, and they were able to pull her out, but the thing that was so amazing about it, one, she survived for 12 hours, out in the middle of the ocean. She did not want to give up whatsoever. She was not about to give up. She, got to, she, she wanted to live. And that was the same thing about all this story. She wanted to live. Second thing are the porpoises. The third thing is that he just happened to get some training, and he kind of knew what to do. So they brought him back, and they find out, and they didn't know why she was out there, but you have to think about this, everybody, out of the ocean. What are the chances of finding somebody out there just out in the middle of the ocean? Maybe two and a half, three miles out, out from, from, the, you know, from the, the beach. God, things are going on. Third story. It has to do with a husband and wife, and the wife unfortunately passed away. And, you know, he was, he was really trying to get over it. They'd been together for just almost like 50 years, some odd years. They were together, and then he, he lost his wife. What happened after that, what, he was in the backyard. And there's some crows. We have some time at our house, too. We, we, have, we have crows every once in a while. Very, not very often. But he had these crows, and what they were doing, he was in the backyard, kind of just walking around and maybe looking at the garden and things like that, and they start dive bombing him. He's getting annoyed by this. He's really getting very annoyed about it. And they kept dive bombing him, and he didn't, at first, didn't know what the hell was going on. He was really aggravated. He was really ticked off at it. And then he happened to look at the tree, and then he notices there's a nest. And what he also sees, what happened, is one of the, the, the little baby birds fell onto the ground. Now this baby bird you know, couldn't fly, it had, and so what he did, he started taking care of it. He started feeding it, and the crows knew what he was doing. So, and in other words, over a period of a couple of weeks, they, they created a bond. At the same time, the baby bird started, started to grow, and he was feeding it, and they also, the parents came down and fed it too, but he was taking care of it, and, and, and they developed a relationship. And this went on for some period of time, and really, they, they really developed a relationship, and he didn't like the birth in the beginning, but the fun thing is how things turn out. So the story at the end of this is that, I, you know, I said that her, his wife passed away some time back, and what crows I understand, and there have been some similar stories about this, sometimes what, crows are pretty smart. And they will leave you a gift, and they will do things, and they do some art, and there are some pretty amazing stories about it. But to make a long story short, the wife had a, a necklace, and somehow, in some way, it was lost. They never could have found it, and they lost it somewhere in the backyard, I think, and they just could ne they just didn't know where it went. They were looking for it, from what I understand. They really looked for it. It was a pretty valuable necklace. Needless to say, the relationship with the crows, and, and you know, things went on, and then one day, he's, he's outside, and the crows are up on the nest, and he happens to notice the table that she's at. Guess what's on the table? The necklace. Kind of, you know, put together in a very odd, I mean, kind of artistic way, but the necklace was right there. What are the chances of that happening? Well, I mean, things go on, everybody. There are, there are stories to tell you that God's in play. He does watch out for us, everybody. He really watches out for us. So many stories I can tell you what happened at this hospital. There are things that go on. But these are some interesting stories. It is about faith, everybody. It really is truly about faith. It really is. I just, I'm thinking, it's, you know, I, I it just was taken back by the stories and, and by this particular one with the woman coming in through that door and what her story was. Anyway, I just wanted to share with you, and I'm going to go ahead and sign off. As again, I, I appreciate your time, and as always, I hope your day is going well. Until the next video, appreciate your time. Thanks.